Suffering from IBS, the bloating, the cramps, the diarrhea with no cure in sight, I know it can be absolutely maddening. So why can't your doctor just give you a straight answer on why you feel this way? First of all, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, can be confusing because really it's just a blanket diagnosis that describes a list of symptoms like bloating, diarrhea, constipation, and nausea. In truth, those symptoms could be caused by a wide range of gastrointestinal issues, so the diagnosis doesn't really tell us anything. IBS can be associated with diarrhea, IBSD, constipation, IBSC, or a mixture of both diarrhea and constipation, hence IBSM. When you have stomach issues, your first course of action is to see your primary care doc. Maybe you'll get a prescription for Imodium to stop the diarrhea, or if you're constipated, you may be told to drink more water or eat more fiber. And when you don't get better, you're then referred to a gastroenterologist who may prescribe a different set of medications and also perform a colonoscopy or an endoscopy, which is a good thing because they want to rule out any gut-related diseases. Many of my patients, though, report that the medicine may have helped for a little bit, but then the symptoms return. And unfortunately, some of my patients have been told it's all in their head or they're just a nervous person or they have anxiety. Again, it's absolutely frustrating and maddening for the patient who suffers with these symptoms. Do you know that IBS can actually be related to a bacterial imbalance called SIBO? Answer yes or no, and feel free to place your questions in the comment box below. And if you find this content to be helpful, let me know by liking and sharing this video and or subscribing below. All right, so SIBO is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and it's a condition where bacteria actually takes root in the small intestines where they aren't supposed to be. Some of the annoying symptoms include bloating, gassiness, nausea, and then there's even malnutrition. Many IBS sufferers who have SIBO also report mood swings and feelings of depression. Apart from SIBO, other causes of gastrointestinal issues can include intestinal permeability, aka leaky gut syndrome. This is where the gut lining is compromised and bacteria and food particles infiltrate your bloodstream. Another cause of GI distress can stem from pathogens and bacterial infections along with gluten sensitivity or other food sensitivities. In my practice, we don't offer a cookie cutter approach. Every person is an individual and will respond differently, and that's why I like working one-on-one -on -one with my patients. After an extensive intake to learn your health journey, I perform a clinical exam, followed by conventional blood work, and if needed, functional lab testing to dig deeper. Combining the right nutritional protocols with the right supplements can make all the difference and usually results in a happier gut and a happier patient. Thank you for watching. To go deeper on the topic of gut, check out my webinar, What's Up With My Gut? Simply click the link in the description or click below to schedule a free phone consultation with me or my team. Speak to you soon.